So guys, this was our achievement in the previous lecture. Humble achievement, but very important. I want to draw your attention to the use of the Luma inverted with the red color. If you come to Aromat, you notice you have the red color here and the white. If you come back, you notice this is the effect of the white color in the Luma and uh, this is the effect of the red. If you change the color red here, you can reduce or increase the reveal or the effect of the Luma. For example, if you select your layer and go and make it 50% uh, gray, here you are, 50% gray, you come back to the main, you notice now the influence is much more. The top layer has been less hidden and the bottom layer has been more revealed. Okay, you can change the way you want and play with the colors is pretty interesting. Cool. Now I'm going to do a simple change that will really upgrade this transition. Select the shape layer here and go to the fill and the stroke and make them all 50%. Even the stroke, I'm going to put it at 50%. Now I'm going to duplicate the shape layer because I need a reveal with the white and select the fill, make it 100% white and the stroke maybe you make it 100% white here you are or if you like you can reduce the fill for example to a bit less if you like to but i'm gonna keep it too white for now okay now it doesn't make sense because they are on top of each other so let's open all our keyframes press u and let's reduce the time of the transition the both of them just take it this way a bit okay take the top layer and move it to two seconds Let's see what's happening now. The first layer will come in and then the second layer and they will all close at the same time. Notice what's happening here. Okay, and then they will come out very easily. Fine. Let's go see the effect here. And we play. We let it render. The first layer is coming in. Then suddenly the second layer is going to start. You see, notice it has started. And look at the effect here. Now you have a double arrow if you like. And they close pretty nice over here and they go okay let's play it here you are with a simple change you change the aspect or the look of the transition and it's becoming much nicer now it's up to you how you play with it I'll put a 100% white maybe you change this one to a bit less and see the influence how it will happen this is the top layer you go to arrow here and let's play it here you are, you notice you have even more. So it's up to you. I want to undo this one. I press Ctrl Z. I prefer it this way. It's much nicer. I can see the double lines. Thank you guys for listening. I hope this was useful. I hope you liked my tip. And I will see you in the next lecture.